welcome back to my channel and to another weekly vlog. So I'm sat here with Pumba who you can kind of sort of see off camera. There we go. There's a little face. <laughs> uh, just having a coffee, taking an afternoon break from work. It's actually Wednesday. I normally start these vlogs on a Tuesday, but um, I'll be like completely upfront and honest. I don't know what this week's weekly vlog is going to be like because it's a bit of a stressful week. Um, the day this vlog actually goes live, uh, my boyfriend is going in for a very um, major operation. And so obviously these few days now are in the build up to that. Um, I think I'm staying relatively calm <laughs> considering, although I have just had a few little wobbly moments as you can imagine uh yeah so i'm just not sure exactly what i'll get to film and stuff although i am planning to head into primark so if i do go into primark that'll probably be the majority of this vlog <laughs> um i'll take you guys with me around and we can have a look at what is new in store you'll probably already know that that's the case if i've got it on the title in the thumbnail whatever um but yeah so for right now <laughs> i'm just chilling with a coffee uh just having a couple of minutes to just well more than a couple of minutes i'm taking a proper lunch today guys <laughs> Like this is my new work resolution is that I actually take proper breaks and proper lunches and it really does help me keep my work anxieties and stuff at bay. So yeah, it's just so worth it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to relax, watch a little bit of TV. I, and I've been telling you guys I was watching the US Circle. <gasps> it's good. It's a good series. But I thought when I started to watch it that they had just dropped the entire, entire series, but they haven't. They're releasing it in blocks of sort of five episodes or so and then a new block comes out every week which is so annoying because now I'm like I've run out of it and I have to wait for the next block which comes out on Wednesday uh so yeah I was really enjoying watching that and I didn't realize until it got to the point like you know when an episode ends and it comes up in the corner being like oh we recommend this instead of like the next episode I was like what <laughs> Oh man, honestly, where would we be without Netflix? I feel like Netflix has just changed TV watching. And there's no other platform that I've watched that is as smooth and seamless as Netflix. The only thing I don't like though is when it comes up and it's like, hey, are you still watching? <laughs> yes, I'm still watching. <laughs> Stop being so judgmental. But other than that, it's just so seamless. It's the perfect, perfect platform for just binge watching. Um, I feel like I've just gone on a ramble, but I hope you guys are doing really well. <laughs> I hope you're having a good week. I hope you enjoy the vlog this week. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you guys are doing. If you're watching on Tuesday and it's the Tuesday premiere, send literally every single bit of positive energy and thoughts uh, towards me if you can. I'll pass them on to the boyfriend. <laughs> um, yeah, I would really appreciate that. I'm hoping I'll be on for the usual premiere on Tuesday. Um, all going well so yeah hopefully I'm in the comments right now chatting to you guys and we're all um yeah there's lots of positivity heading his way so <sighs> okay I'm gonna just take a moment have my coffee and uh yeah get distracted by some youtuber tv for a little bit <laughs> good morning Pumba We have a very sleepy doggy this morning. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everyone. <laughs> so cute. Hey, goofy. So guys, Pumba has been so, so good. Yeah, really good. He's not been up to his usual shenanigans. Um, he's been giving me lots of kisses and cuddles. Um, <laughs> I have been taking him out still to the dog park, which is great because every time he goes, he just runs around like a mad thing and um, burns off loads of energy. So then he's nice and sleepy and he's always better behaved when he's sleepy as well. So <laughs> sorry guys, Puma is very keen to have um, some snuggle time. But um, I just watched the Hills reaction video, the one that Whitney does on her channel. It was so good. And um, what am I watching now? Oh, I was watching... Megan Rinks. I don't know if any of you guys watch her on YouTube. I think she's really good as well. Uh, but yeah, so I think this evening I'm going to just have a very chilled one, have a bath. Cannot believe I have not told you about my leggings yet. So uh, my boyfriend very kindly uh, offered to treat me to something a few weeks back. 
and I sent him a link to these Lululemon leggings. Now, I have had Lululemon leggings in the past, uh, but this specific type of Lululemon leggings, OMG, is the softest, most comfortable thing I have ever put on my legs. I, it feels like, it's like just having a soft layer of extra skin. <laughs> that sounds gross <laughs> like it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything like it's not in any way shape or form uncomfortable and um, because like I've been trying lots of different exercise leggings and stuff because I've been you know trying to um exercise more in that um, and I just find like I just have issues with all of them either they keep falling down they cause like chafing between the legs like it's just, I haven't found the perfect pair. These ones are literally the perfect pair of leggings. And I do have a pair of Lululemons that are three quarter lengths, but they're a different line, like a different, yeah, a different uh, type of Lululemon leggings. And they do fall down a bit and they're a bit thicker, the fabric. This fabric is so thin. They obviously like don't look anything to look at. Do you know what I mean? They just look like average leggings that now have dog hair and stuff on them um but oh my god they're so comfortable okay so they're the lululemon align super high rise pant that's what they're called and it says designed for yoga but these are just unlike anything else i've ever worn they're so so comfortable i hope they last as in like that's the other issue i tend to have with leggings that they don't last they rip and stuff but i feel like anybody that i've seen online and stuff that has been recommending the lemon like you know says that they last um and now i just want to get them in more colors even though they're so expensive guys it's 88 pounds for a pair of leggings i sent them on to my boyfriend and he was like that's like leggings that's what you want for 88 pounds <laughs> like, they better be the best leggings ever um and uh they are the best leggings ever <laughs> I think he was thinking I was maybe going to pick out, I don't know, like some, I don't know, a bit of jewellery or like perfume. I don't know, something like that. He was like, you want leggings? Like that's your special treat? I'm like, yeah, leggings. Because that's all I wear. <laughs> I just had my avocado bagel and a nice coffee. Do any of you guys ever take clothes off or put certain clothes on to eat because you're so messy? <laughs> because I do that all the time, especially with my avocado mushroom bagel because those mushrooms drop off and you get like mushroom juice on your clothes. <laughs> so I was wearing a white, like a gray white jumper thing and I've just taken it off so that I can eat. And so I don't mind if I get it on my exercise top. But I didn't want to get it on my Calvin Klein jumper, you know? <laughs> I just feel like such a child, like I need some sort of bib or something. <laughs> but I don't understand, you know? If food's messy, like, do you guys not do the same? I do it all the time. Because if I don't do it, if I think about doing it, if I'm like, maybe I should take this jumper off before I eat, and then I don't take it off, 100% of the time, I will get food on my jumper. <laughs> So, oh, anyway, I just thought I would share. I'm interested to know if any of you guys do the same or if you're, you know, more functioning adults than I am. <laughs> it is later in the evening on Thursday. I've just had the most relaxing bath. I could honestly just close my eyes and fall asleep right now. <laughs> um, It was just so nice. I've been using the Elemis Muscle Soak and it's kind of got a menthol smell to it. Uh, I ran out of my Bath and Body Works relax bubble bath I think that's what it's called or de-stress something like that uh but I've got a new rituals one that I'm trying out which is also really nice and then I used some uh, bath salts as well oh. and my muscles had been sore today and now they just feel so much better <laughs> oh, I'm so ready for bed though I'm gonna just um I have to run out with little man where is he gone he literally look at him 
he's like curled up right behind me he does this all the time so literally like he's behind half behind my back now it's so cute so i will have to run out with him but i just go to the courtyard which is like locked off uh, in my apartment block and i just stick a jacket on so even though i'm in my pajamas it's great I've also then just put a nice face mask on. I think I showed you guys this one before. I used it when I, um, I think I used it during Advent because uh, it was in one of my Advent calendars. And it's called Avant, I think, A-V-A-N-T. I don't know if it is a French. I mean, maybe I just made that up. No, it is French. So I think Avant. And it's a rose quartz mask. So nice. And it's one of the ones that you don't have to wash off, which is my favorite. Uh, it just smells so nice and it seems quite moisturizing as well. And then I've used this neck and decolletage uh, cream, which again, I got in one of my advent calendars, which I sh showed you guys on the build up to Christmas. And it reduces signs of tech neck. Um, yeah, so I gave that a go as well. It has niacinamide and stuff in it. Um, but yeah, I feel very relaxed, very chilled. I'm actually watching uh, just some YouTube. I'm watching Claire Siobhan, which actually one of you guys recommended to me a long time ago. And I'm just watching one of her Sims series. I've just got back into watching Sims on YouTube, even though I'm not really playing it anymore. I don't know why, I just find it so relaxing to watch people play games. My friend Natasha is always saying this. And uh, I thought I would just give it another go. And yeah, I was really relaxing. I was also watching Natasha last night. I forgot to say to you guys. Um, she was playing this really fun game. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Something to do with... Oh, what's it called? I can't remember, but basically um, it's this really old school game, but you're like running away from vampires and it was just so funny. I watched it last week um, and this week on her Twitch channel and it was so, so funny because like just loads of random stuff was going wrong. Like Natasha was killing everybody and like <laughs> she named like the characters after some of the people that were watching. So she had like her brother and then a couple of the other guys um, uh, in the car for the game that I had been watching so it was just really funny because like loads of silly things kept happening like people kept breaking their arms and like oh it was just gas so I really enjoyed that um I'll leave her twitch channel link down below because um yeah I think I think she's like doing really well with it I find it so relaxing to watch her play as well so um and obviously hers is then interactive because it's live uh, which is quite fun too so um I normally try and watch her on a Wednesday evening and I'll usually catch a bit of her Sunday stream as well but Sunday um I'm always at my boyfriend so I normally just watch her for a bit before um he's up out of bed or whatever and then we usually do our like little breakfast and coffee routine and stuff and take Pumba out so yeah I'm feeling quite chilled honestly today I was feeling a bit anxious <laughs> I don't think we've gone a single week guys in the last month without me talking about feeling anxious but um as I've spoken about a bit on this channel my boyfriend's going for an operation it's in now like four days and I just had a few moments today where I just got really overwhelmed <laughs> just stressing about it so I just like was taking some deep breaths and trying to chill out and so yeah just having a bath this evening has definitely really helped and um yeah, I'm just like, I just keep trying to, whenever I get stressed, I just keep trying to like think, like focus on the positive sides of it all and just, um, yeah, just try and keep like a positive mindset about it all. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, get myself ready for bed. I'm going to take Pumba out for a quick wee and then, yeah, I'm going to get myself into bed and have a good sleep tomorrow. I'm actually going to get up early and go into Primark for 7 a.m uh to the one on Tottenham Court Road I want to go in really early so that it's not busy I just don't fancy I'm just not ready for like being in a store that's busy yet <laughs> so I'm gonna give that a go I really wanted to go into Primark though it's open two weeks now so I think it should be fine um but yeah I'll take you guys with me so we can have a little look around and yeah I'm just gonna get some essentials like leggings string tops tank tops like yeah the usual socks underwear all that jazz um but oh my battery's flashing so i will go and i'll see you guys tomorrow oh man i would love to be picking up some bikinis we're going on holiday i literally can't bring myself to do it just yet <laughs> 
I love this green though. This is obviously in this year. See, it's like a real dark green. It's so nice. They have it in a one piece and in a bikini. I like that the bikini has this wood. I wish the one piece had the same. And um, we've got another one piece there that's a bit more plain. How cute! <laughs> they have um, a Minnie Mouse glittery swim ring and then they have um, a stitch one as well. Oh, it's Lilo and Stitch. How cute! Honestly, like they are teasing a holiday. <laughs> Um, they've got some cute like travel wallets in and um, lots of cute travel accessories and loads of them um, in the Disney space so they've got <laughs> some really cute head pillows um, some nice little pouches they've also got packing cubes what okay I might need to try out their packing cubes I don't know if you guys know but I love a packing cube and they've got luggage pouch. Guess, oh, I guess that's just like a zip pouch instead of a proper cube. Um, what's this then? A dry, a dry bag. Oh, they've got this cute uh, computer tech pouch. Oh man, there's so many cute things. Oh, look at this. I don't know what this is. Are they just pins? <laughs> oh, that's super cute. Eye mask. Oh, they've got luggage tags. Cute mini mouse passport cover. Love this um, Star Wars The Child <laughs> Mandalorian. That's so cool. It's like a little weekend bag. That's really cute. And they have uh, car headrest pillows and seatbelt covers and everything. The stitch one is super cute. They've even got car window shades. Oh my god. Car seat organizer. Wow. That is so cool. Little travel backpacks. Oh, and this is a little backpack too. That's so cute. And they've got all these really cool earrings. Earrings? <laughs> Keyring things like dongle ones, the proper ones with the little clasp on them. They have an amazing selection of summer sandals, as they always do. I always come to Primark for sandals. I'm kind of feeling these ones. They are a little bit chunky though in the heel. Um, but yeah, they seem quite nice. I've been tempted to get a pair of Birkenstocks. Any of you guys let me know if Birkenstocks are worth it. I've never had a pair. They've got sort of, I guess like the Birkenstocks dupes here. I mean, these are nice too. I don't know whether to go for a pair like this or that pair I was just showing you. I like that these ones have the back strap here. So like they've got the two straps and then the back strap. But then again, they are a bit chunkier. They've got some super cute slipper sets in boxes. I think these might be left over from Christmas. And then they just have their usual slip on slippers. Oh. I feel like I just buy slippers all the time though and I never wear slippers. <laughs> so I think I'll give these a pass but they're so cute. Look how cute these are. Oh. <laughs> Mickey my own and they've got Mickey in front of them. These are so cute. These remind me of like um, that sort of baby collection that they have in the Disney store. Oh my god they have so many pet outfits. Oh. Uh, if you watch my vlogmas, you'll know that I got quite a few already. <laughs> so uh, I actually have a lot of the ones that are here. Uh, we got them, both myself and Rachel got them for um, Pumba and Buzz. But they're just so cute. This little rain jacket is adorable. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Love it. They have lots of stuff in the uh, Disney collection with, um, I think it's like Save the Earth is what they're calling it, but you'll see a lot of the Earth stuff here. It's so, so nice. And then this is all like planning stuff. They actually have clothes and stuff downstairs, which I'll um, show you on the way out. Oh, they've got a little pencil tub. So now I am in everyone's favorite section of Primark, which is the pajama section. I'm just checking out these little sets because they look like they're super soft. They're seven pound for the set. And I could just do it some more summery pajamas as it gets hotter. 
I like to have some very light, light pajamas to wear. I hate being warm in the evening. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pick up at least a pair of these. Maybe I'll get two. Hello. <laughs> and uh, they also have some ones with longer bottoms. And yeah, they've just got a great selection. I also want to pick up some of the wireless bras. I think they should have them somewhere as well and just maybe a couple of sets of underwear as always Primark has some great Disney pajamas I've actually found though lately that I've not been buying the Disney pajamas uh, mostly because of the material like I just prefer those super soft pajamas and I don't really tend to find the super soft material with the Disney branding it tends to be just more the sort of standard cotton there's just like <laughs> something about the material of those pajamas i showed you first it's just super soft and that's just what i prefer to wear so even though i think these are so pretty uh i have not really been buying primark disney pajamas much lately um that thumper uh long nightgown thing looks super comfy but i just don't wear night dresses and they've also got some sex education stuff, which is cool. And oh, the boys I loved before as well. They're definitely on it with their licensing right now. Um, well, I mean, they always are, right? But they just seem to be expanding that a lot. Okay, so I found the wireless bras. These are the sets I normally get. Um, this kind of like three-way color. Uh, but they've actually got some new styles. Oh, I like the ribbed ones as well. I've got a set in black of the ribbed ones. I think they're quite nice. Uh, but if you look over here, they've now got this new sort of style where it's got the v-neck. I think that could be a bit more flattering. Now, I don't like that the straps are thicker, but I think if you're wearing, I don't know, like a, th a tank top or something, I thought it'll be fine. And I did see another style that was even more like a bra. Oh, okay, so these are just wireless bras. Oh. I mean, maybe that's what I need to get because guys, I, I just don't think I can get back into a normal bra anymore. <laughs> I've just literally not worn a normal bra in about a year. Maybe this is like a happy medium. So I'm gonna get a pack of that as well. Okay, so they don't seem to have this colored set in anything higher than a C. So they've got this uh, Simba tracksuit, which is really nice. And then lots of lovely sweatshirts. I just don't need any more Disney sweatshirts. I really like this one. It's so cute. It's got pockets as well. And this Dumbo one is so nice too. We've got Stranger Things ones as well, Looney Tunes and stuff too. This wellness section is so, so good. I think it's one of my favorite sections now in Primark. They just have things that make me feel calm. I guess that's the whole point. And I love the just aesthetic, like the colors of it and stuff. And um, I got some bits from here actually last time I was in Primark and they were so, so soft. You can see they've just got like some really cute candles and uh, they've got super, super soft items as well. There's white trousers on the end. I got them last time and they're so soft. They have this lovely set. And then over here, they've just got some retreat items <laughs> like body scrubs and they've got um, little candles and oh, it's just so nice. They've got lots of uh, bamboo stuff as well. They've got bamboo hair wraps. And they've got as well some uh, bed linen. Yeah, it's so cute. So guys, this whole section is the Mickey Mouse uh, collaboration, well, the Disney collaboration for Love the Earth. I think Love the Earth, is that the slogan? Um, there's loads of stuff though. You can see they've got kids stuff. And it's not just here, like it goes all the way out to the door. So they've got bags and everything as well. Yeah, so it's our new uh, sustainable range featuring Disney. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So guys, that was a very successful trip to Primark. Uh, I got all the basics that I wanted to get, um, but I will put up a Primark haul on my channel later this week. Uh, I'm now actually just about to head out the door and go and meet a couple of friends of mine. We're gonna sit in a park, I'm gonna bring Pumba and yeah i'm just so looking forward to it it's a really nice way to spend a friday evening it's beautiful and sunny outside i've got a couple of drinkies 
with me and yeah I'm just very much looking forward to it so guys that is gonna do it for this week's weekly vlog thank you so much for watching i know it wasn't the usual sort of weekly vlog but hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you enjoyed the trip to primark and uh i might put a haul up i'm not too sure because to be honest i just got basic bits um so it's not the kind of stuff that you would like try on do you know what i mean like i know the leggings and stuff are gonna fit me and i'm obviously not gonna be showing you guys what the underwear looks like <laughs> so i don't know i might do i might do a quick one maybe i'll just stick it into next week's weekly vlog uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all have a really good week and i will see you all next week bye